Kia ora. Good evening. A radical new scheme to allow private investors to profit from organisations providing social services. It's a controversial plan about to be launched by the government. New Zealand's first ever social bonds will look for investors to back some mental health services. Political editor Corin Dan has the exclusive story. Investment bonds are a staple of the world's cutthroat financial markets. Think of them as an IOU with interest. One News has learnt that the government now plans to use bonds that offer a return to investors to help fund and revamp social services. It's about delivering the results and what's the most effective way to deliver those and obviously incentives count. But they have to have a return, they want money don't they? So that, I think that becomes a perverse incentive for those providing the outcome. Here's how it will work. The government contracts out work for social services to an outside organisation. The contract comes with measurable performance targets attached. The organisation then looks to raise the money to do the contracted work by selling bonds to investors. If the organisation successfully meets the agreed performance outcomes, the government steps back in and pays bondholders their money back plus a percentage return, i.e. profit. It could be banks, it could be private venture funds, um, it's anyone with uh, a source of capital, obviously reputable investors. The first social bond issued aims to expand on a pilot programme already in place that looks to get more people with mental health issues back into the workforce. But how this will be structured and what other organisations will be involved is still to be determined. They are amongst our most vulnerable. Why would we start an experiment with their lives? And if this delivers the results, if it gets more Kiwis back into work and achieves, you know, in some of those really tough to tackle areas, we think it's exactly the right thing to do. Social bonds are only just starting to be used globally and have yet to mature or be paid out. But the New Zealand Initiative think tank says it's well worth doing here. If it doesn't deliver it, if it doesn't produce any measurable outcomes, the investors won't get paid. So there is an extra element of accountability. The next social bond after mental health is likely to target criminal reoffending rates. All up the government's planning four social bond programs. The estimated cost around $28 million. And Corin's with us now. Corin, it sounds pretty radical. Why is the government doing it? It is looking for results. If you remember, the government spends billions and billions of dollars every year on social services in some very, very hard areas. And it believes that if it uses the profit motive, it might just provide that extra incentive to get some outcomes. Now, it's obviously highly controversial. There'll be some people who will feel it's the government you know, privatising social services. It's only a small part of the overall spend, but it's still a pretty bold move by this government. So how will it measure it? I think this is the absolute uh, crucial point here. Remember, it, the, the bonds only pay out and the profit is only paid out if uh, the service provider delivers on those results. So setting the terms of what is measured and, and how we know, and for example, how many of these mental, um, mentally ill patients might go back into work, for example, measuring that will be crucial. And what sort of returns can investors expect? Yeah, well, the government won't say exactly what the amount of return is at the moment, but they've got this uh, fund of about 29 million, just under 29 million, which will be used for paying for the bonds and paying out the profit. Looking overseas, there isn't a huge amount of this being done overseas. Where it has been done, Goldman Sachs invested in a bond uh, to do with criminal reoffending that was paying about 5% by the look of it for investors. Some in Australia are paying a little bit more than that. But uh, it's going to have to pay something to get those investors. But yeah, this is pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, it sounds like a very bold step indeed. Thanks, Corinne.